Welcome to Welly's World Podcast. I'm your host, Welly Jackson. It's 90-something degrees in New York. You, hot know, as shit. you know what that means? <laughs> it's hot as shit. It feel like 400. <laughs> it's that wild weather. That's what all I know. It's that wild shit. Yes. Yes. Yo, <laughs> I got my man in the building with me. We out here. Status quo in the building. That's the man. It's Alex Quo. I, we out here. You know what it is. You ain't let me get you. I was supposed to say it. You, you can still say it. Feel free. Yeah, I can hit him with it twice. Hit him with it twice. They can see what's going on. They can hear what's going on. You know what it is. Yo, I got my man in the building. Got a guess. This is my dude, man. We did the last OG together. He's a star on Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. I'm sweaty as fuck. <laughs> that you are too. I put a shirt on for you, Willie, yes. and I am sweaty as fuck. <laughs> I was like, because I, I got a t-shirt under here that is stained. Like, like it's got like the it's like the four-year stained t-shirt, right? So what I was like, think? well, I was out all day, like in Red Hook with my kid, and I like got home and showered so I'd smell good for Welly. And I put on pants and the zipper doesn't work. I got a t-shirt that's stained. I'm hanging out on Canal Street. I get picked up. You need some Clorox. I can get some Clorox. This is my man, Joe Garland, y'all. This is my dog, man. This is really my man. Joe and Joe in the building. What's up, man? Yo. Yeah, nothing. Chilling. Sweating. That's right. <laughs> Sweat. He's I'm about to wring this t-shirt out. Fuck Lose, yeah. Losing cool. five pounds in the next half hour. There you go. See? <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. So how was your week, Quo? Shit. That weather coming back around has been nice out. It's been pretty good. You I see mean, me. I got the chancletas and the shorts on. Yeah, I'm out here. got the shorts on. Yeah. I'm out here. I'm out here. Out. <laughs> He's out here. No, I appreciate it because I didn't I didn't know when I told you I was going to wear open-toed shoes. Yo, he got the sandals on. No, I did. Oh, and I told yeah. Welly I had to come. Joking. You oh, said come into Manhattan and do my podcast. I said that's great because I got to pick up these open toed shoes. <laughs> Can I wear open toed <laughs> shoes in the studio? He did say that. I did say that. I thought he was bullshit. Oh, no, these man. are them. <laughs> you, you can keep those over there. They, oh, man. They're expensive. <laughs> yo, that's how you do. Yo, with black people, you can wear whatever you want. Be like, nah, these shits cost a couple dollars. Then niggas be like, yo, why, why, why? Those, those is Louis? All right, cool. That's how it works. Hey, you proud of that. You proud of that? I'm proud of that. He's chilling. That's I mean, what it's about. How expensive? I don't know. I mean, you'll never see me wear that. Look, but you'll never I'm see me wear that. I'm wearing five year old pants in a shirt with stains. Expensive might be a relative term. <laughs> I mean, hey, look. Do you have a kid? No. See, thank that's God. where my money goes. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Into shoes. I don't blame him, man. My money goes into this guy right here. He got his shit yeah, together. Yeah, this, this guy, and yeah, he's expensive. That's what I learned. This guy's very expensive. Shit. <laughs> so, boom, what, what you get into this week? Shit, you know, just kind of popping off a couple of shows yesterday, you know, getting off the stage. Uh -huh. And, uh, just, you know, just got some big things happening. Comedy and bullshit. You say party and bullshit? Comedy and bullshit. Comedy and bullshit, yes. Uh -huh. said, yeah, you know. Just staying on the grind. You gotta stay, you gotta, especially with the warm weather coming out, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people out, out here now just trying to. Keep on top of everything. You know what I'm talking about? That's what it is. You see, that was very vague. That let me translate that. Call God is summertime. Ladies is treating them different. They out here. <laughs> That's what he meant. They to out say. here. I'm out That's here. He it's say. a good time. It's That's a good all time. I'm. Ladies are treating me completely the same. Right now, he, he, you a star though. No, yeah, but you wear a mask for eighteen months. You're star. It's nothing. You so say. I'm like, what little thing, what little I had with the attention of women, being a forty-something year old married man with a child, which is very limited because of very limited stardom. It was gone during the pandemic. Just gone. But right. it's back now. They're just treating us regularly. I, I get that. They're just treating us regularly. Yeah, I just I get that. I get that. I get that. Boom. So boom. Let's jump right into it. Jay. Yeah. Oh, real quick. Yo. Oh. Sorry, Eric D'Alessandro, Mayo Performing Arts Center. Let me say that one more time, too. The Mayo Performing Arts Center in Morristown, New Jersey. Get, this Friday coming up. Get your ticket. Get your tickets. This is going to be one to see. I'm going to say this. Say it. Go ahead. You get your tickets. It's going to be a surprise on the show. All of Yes. 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 Eric D'Alessandro. Shout out to my man, E. Check them out. It's going to be good. Yeah, ericdelasandro.com. That's where the tickets are. Yo, Mayo Performing Arts Center this Friday. I think it's the 11th. That is right. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's Friday up, the 11th. That's Friday the 11th. Are we doing our phone? Everybody checks their phone? 11. Yeah, it's the 11th. <laughs> you can check your shit. I'm gonna check it's the phone. 11th. Boom. Get your tickets. Boom. Get your tickets. It's a treat on the show. Something going to happen. It. Both shows. No tricks. Just treats. But it's going to be good shit. So, Joe. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just worried that I fucked with the algorithm too much, and now it's just 
Well, oh, Instagram algorithm. Yo, they, they don't fuck hey, around. That's your real. I don't. I, I want to see. Show me your Instagram. Uh huh. I want to see what the algorithm. What you're looking at, Willie. Oh, I ain't looking at shit. No, that's what I want to see. <laughs> Show much no, motherfucker. You gotta go. At you go to. Me. You gotta go to the little. The little. Uh, oh, the explore page. The explore page, because uh-huh. that's all the algorithm. Go to the explore oh, page. I never look at this shit. Oh, oh, let, oh. let me see. But wait, no, let no, me no. see. I'm <laughs> so curious. Wait, wait. The algorithm oh, is just... fucked up though, because you know what they be showing me a lot of lately. I've been getting those pimple pop videos. Pimple oh, pop videos. I, I get some of those. I hate that. I never like that shit. I I, I hit not interested. So you know what I'm. You know what I'm finding out about Welly. What? Well, he's kind of clean. <laughs> Wait a minute. We, no, no. Are you on the burner? Are you on the burner? No, no, no. Check it out. Check it out. It's my real gram. Well, he's gram. No. Well, well, he's gram is like this. Well, he's gram is like boats. Yes. <laughs> really big boats. Yachts, yachts, like, yes. like yachts, right? Yeah. Fast cars. Eh, Tesla shit. <laughs> Basketball. All right. And like every like eighth one is like bikini girl. Oh, <laughs> you were not to say that. No, no, but that's every no, Willie, that's every eighth one. Hold on. All right, check it out. Oh shit. I was, Cause I'm about to Brian, we gonna edit this shit. I was gonna be like, no, I do no, no, no. But it's very clean. That's very I mean, compared to Joel, mine, Joel. which is like <laughs> the sun is still up. Instagram mine is, is mine totally is different shit. Joel, you don't gotta do this, bro. You're married. <laughs> he going, oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you go in. All I'm saying is he airing the dirty laundry. All I'm saying is, <laughs> yo, you Yours is very clean, Willie. Thank you. I, they Thank need you. a reset button on the gram. So that's what affects the algorithm. They though. need a reset. Well, okay. bu- they need a reset button so you can look. So you could be like, "No, honey, I'm good." So when the girl looks at your, she's like, "Why are they all yoga women? Why are they? Why are <laughs> the all these legs between the dog and shit?" Yeah, what it, or like it looked like this, but then it turned out to just be an exploding like. Uh, geyser, but I thought that it was a little <laughs> bit of the pe- like. What was that? I agree with the reset button, but they, they need it for DMs. That's it. That's what they need it for. What do you? Uh, who are you? I don't DM anybody. It's who, not DMs affecting who, my searches. What do you? Who, who, who the hell are you? Shoot when you shoot your shot in somebody DM and why would you do that? What you should never shoot your shot on Instagram. But is this thing on? You should (laughs) never shoot your shot on Instagram. You're nuts. Never. He uses IG as a dating app. Wait a minute. Terrible mistake. Huh? I'm I'm lost. Why not? Receipts. It's all receipts. He's right. Hence the reset. But but why is that a bad thing? I don't don't understand. But why you just don't unsend your shit? You're not gonna leave no. I don't care who it is, a guy, whoever. Hold up, let me let me because I'm not hollering at no dudes. I'm not hollering nobody on the ground. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not hollering at nobody. On the if I look at it differently, <laughs> if I know the dudes at Welly is hollering at, then no, because <laughs> I look at it from one point of view. But if I look at it from that point of view, yeah, then you know I you're just as Joe. dirty as I am, Welly. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah, I fuck with Joe. What I'm saying is. If somebody leaves my shit on scene, I'm hitting unsend. My shit is not a trophy. Oh, no. You don't know I was here. It's That's my, my shit sitting there marinating? Nah, fuck all that. Nah. I'm cooking like rotisserie chicken. I, need that I was back. here. Let me get that back. All right, cool. Good. Nah, nah. I, you going <laughs> to know I was here. And when we talk in like three years, when you finally come around, you're going to see my hello from 26. Okay, how many followers you got? Hey, just like <laughs> 1,300, something like that. Hold up. Don't say nothing. Now, look at how many followers he got. All right. That's fair. All right that's, that's, that's and this is uh, what's that? Joel, no. Joel, what's that? Joel with a capital J? All right, no, I got you. Hold it's on. O N E. O N E. O L. All right. O N E. O L. E O G. I found you. Oh, that's you. Oh, that's a headshot. That's a blue check. Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a blue check ball. Wait. You got the blue check? <laughs> Can I follow you right now? Well, yeah, he won't notice. Whoa. <laughs> Wait. Motherfucker got 100K. He got, he here got, he got, about he got the blue check. He got 13, the blue check. Ooh, he, got the, he got the blue check. It's oh. not about, it's not a, that wasn't a flex. It was a, it <laughs> that was that a flex for Welly. That most definitely. <laughs> Welly, it was a flex. I don't give a fuck. That was a flex. <laughs> that was a flex. I don't but give like, a fuck. When you get some input from some people that you don't know, you do not want receipts. You do not want to be looking. You don't open the DMs. Come on, come on, come on. You don't want anybody to have that person saw my DM because it's like a whole thing. Early on, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll look at that. And so, and they would take a screenshot of the fact that you, Boop, just that you looked at yes. it. Yes. Are you dead ass? Just that you looked at yes. it. And then that's in their store. And they're like, oh, blah, 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 looked at. Yeah. <laughs> blah, 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 looked at it. Looked at. That's all they want. <laughs> and then Big, you're like, I'm going to jail? What is happening? <laughs> Big country from the last OG scene that I sent him my titties. So I took a picture of that, <laughs> and I was like, I, 
Don't take a picture of the fact that I looked at. I didn't ask for that. Don't I send me that. I didn't ask for I'm that. chilling. I didn't answer you. I said, "What? Leave me alone." <laughs> oh. I don't. I don't know. But he the, can't wait to get famous. He wait gone. a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The, the way he was talking about Instagram five minutes ago, he was like the, the plus button at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't sound like he had a hundred k. Oh no. <laughs> he didn't sound oh, like he had a hundred k. The motherfucker knows the gram perfectly, Barrett. <laughs> you gotta be. Uh, you gotta know. That I, 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 sometimes I keep things under my chest. I know I told you I look like a homeless person. That was to catch you off guard for later. You, you, uh, I, I followed you, by the way. Uh, okay. He don't know. That shit yeah, don't go phone, to his phone. His phone didn't get the, he didn't get the notification? Oh, okay. 500 other people just followed him, too. After, they going to know you. After 100K, they just stopped sending you notifications. Fuck out of here. <laughs> he, just, he just like. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was goofy shit. Oh, shit. All right. Well, this is this is a perfect, this is a perfect jumping, this is a jumping point there. So right? jump, motherfucker. This is, oh, you was on the set of the last OG, you know. No, 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 no. He wasn't on the set. I was on the He's set. He's in the fucking show. Right. And he was on the set in the show. Oh, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, I he thought was, you were trying to play him. No, I can't. I can't play with hundred hundred K. He got Good. a K in his Instagram. I don't have a K. I don't 100 have a K. Of It'll go away. <laughs> he said hundred. I'll lose some. It'll go after this. I'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> Give him to me. Don't leave. I'll take him if you need him. Like, why are you fucking with well? At the status quo, <laughs> just, <laughs> just just send him my way. But let me ask you what that was about, right? As somebody who's myself trying to get into the acting scene, does, let me ask you what, what that it was about. Like. <laughs> no, let me just, I want to know. Let, 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 how you, okay, ask me a question. Okay, I, I'm asking a question. So it's just like, I don't know. Just you you get the role in the last OG, right? It's yeah. like, now you're seasoned, clearly. It's like you've, you've been you've been doing this for a while. You just, just from the way you carry yourself, you can tell, right? For okay. you, when you got it. Or you it. could look at my, my uh, IMDb <laughs> and then you could tell. Oh, he's got though. He's got that too. Now that was a flex. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was a flex. Dude, yeah. is, there a K, is, there, <laughs> is there a K on that too? Is this, I'm just IMDb, uh, it pretty much is like your I, acting I, I know, resume. I know what IMDb is. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking act like it. Ask the question. See, all right, let me tell you how, let me tell you what Quo does. Quo sets up the setup the, to the question. No, I get no, nah, no. Nah. I, I didn't know it. it. Maybe you had a joke. I asked the question, okay, what's the and question? then I get flexed. What's the question? What's the question? But, question? but no, the question that very serious is like, okay, when you get the role for the last OG, is it like something you know? Because it was a really hit show, right? Not not as than that. Do you go into like a different gear when you get a show like that, or is it just like you know? No, no, I, I only have one gear. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gear. No, um, last OG was interesting. I would met Tracy previously. He doesn't remember it because, you know, mm -hmm. busy dude, whatever. I don't mm -hmm. have to get into why he doesn't remember. He remembers now because we worked together for the last four years. Mm -hmm. um, but I met Tr Tracy previously, but I didn't know anybody else involved in the show, really. I had auditioned. I had a call back. There was a whole thing. Mm -hmm. But then I get a call on like a Saturday that's like they're doing a table read in a day or two. Can mm -hmm. you come and do a table read? And I was like, cool, yeah. They're like, we want you in the show. Come do a table read. And I had met Jordan, and I had met Tiffany, and I had met Cedric, and I had met Alan. Mm -hmm. You know Alan? And so I, like, got, like, one script. I was like, can you get the other scripts? And, like, we'll have them for you when you get there. And suddenly I'm sitting down for, and I've got a cold read with freaking Cedric, Tracy, Tiffany, like, Hitters, right, right, yeah, like yeah. funny, Some real funny hitters, people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, I'm, a, I'm an actor. I'm pretty confident right. in that arena. <laughs> But in the arena of like stand up comedy, I know that I have nothing. I'm, I've never done it. Right. You know? So I'm like, it's one of the rare times that I was very, very nervous. I got a, so much respect for those guys, especially for Cedric and for Tracy. Like, those are funny, funny dudes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was sweating. But we got through it. We got through it. Uh, shit like that is like, that, that always takes me back to elementary school. Right. It's like, all right. Back to like fucking uh, reading, like a, what was the fucking class you learned? So, um, like, I, as a kid, I had hooked on phonics. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> so it takes me back to that <laughs> shit. Wait, I'm like, I, I had hooked on phonics, but when did you have it? Here's a third phone. grade. They you tried it with me. I never. Oh, I finished it off by the end of kindergarten. Are you it finished hooked on phonics? No, I, you I, beat I, it. I, you not supposed to be reading that kindergarten. <laughs> Oh, you was reading the kindergarten? Man. I wasn't that nigga. I, I, I Why tried am I it. flexing about hooked on phonics? That's the most ridiculous it's, thing I can do. I couldn't do it. I it's the Lord's it. Day. Why is he flexing <laughs> about hooked on phonics? I couldn't do hooked on phonics. It wasn't my shit. I tried it. Could you do it now? Uh, probably. Yeah. I mean, well, what does it look like now? I haven't seen it. I don't that. know. But it's probably hard now. <laughs> it's probably way harder. It's real now. hard. Harder this shit probably got math in it. Now. <laughs> it's right, yo. It's STEM. Shit. That's probably right. how you solve for X. It's in the phonics. It's, it's in the phonics. But um, <laughs> yeah, nah. When you serve, like like table reads for me are always nerve wracking because it brings me back to third grade. 
um, reading out loud in front of people. Now, these motherfuckers are certified funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them motherfuckers in third grade, they ain't know how to tie their shoes. <laughs> and I'm, so, you know, it's like I care way more what they think now. You know what I mean? So it's whatever. That's just, that's just me with shit like that. Oh, that's but crazy. so, Joel, how you even get into acting? Like, did you go to acting class? Did you study theater in college? Cause yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I studied theater in college. That was good. Um, got out. Went to a market that wasn't really doable for me out in San Francisco. All right. It's like a small market. Yeah. And so you got one guy who's a fat white guy. You don't need two of them. Right. You know, so I'm like in that market and I'm young. I'm not going to make it there. You know, it's just not going to happen because it's not big enough. Mm -hmm. So I came to New York. Started doing a lot of theater. That's what I want to do is like experimental theater. Just like weird experimental shit. But I didn't know you could make any money that way. Right. And I didn't know. I grew up poor, so it wasn't like. I wasn't like I need to go make money. It was just like I love doing theater, and the risk of being poor is like not a big deal because I've already been poor. Yeah, so but let's that, just go that, do the thing I want to. Already did that there poor shit. Go. Now, yeah, yeah, I'm not scared yeah. of it. You know, like yeah. maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get. It won't get worse. <laughs> right. Right. It, it so, is scary down there, though. <laughs> it is scary. Though. No, but but I like <laughs> has a dude who goes broke every week. It is scary <laughs> down there. No, but I, <laughs> I know it's just temporary. He don't live. But if you're like if you're like a homeless kid, like I spend a little bit of time being homeless, a little oh, bit shit. of time on like what? welfare, whatever. When I was a kid, homeless. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. So when you when you like finish college and you come and you get to like do the things you want to do, even if it's a hustle, you're not scared of it because you're like, well, I don't, I can take care of myself enough to not be homeless. My yeah, hobby, that's right. True. So, I know exactly what you're talking about. But go ahead. Yeah, because it's like you either have a lot of support behind you and you're rich and it's okay to do shit, or you're like not scared because you've been through the hardest stuff and you know you can take care of yourself enough not to go back there. I What's grew that? up in the projects. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's because no matter how bad shit gets, I know how to not go back to the projects. Yeah, I grew up Section 8 in, in Connecticut. So right, right, right. You know, where were you, Willie? Uh, Staten Island, man. Okay. It's all the projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, New York City is... Uh, projects is the projects. They all pretty much the same yeah, yeah. to me. Smack but, in the middle of the hood. Yeah. yeah, wow. That's crazy. I didn't even know that, Joe. Wow. That's crazy. But So so I came came here after college. I went to a nice college. And I went to a nice college because I was poor. So when I applied, they oh, let me in. Let they him write a lot of money, it. right? Yeah. You, you, you know, mm -hmm. poverty helps you out sometimes in some ways. D didn't uh -huh. help me with that, but you go. Yeah, it's, hey. it's weird. You know, I got <laughs> whatever. It worked out. And then um, I just started looking for people who were doing what I wanted to be doing. Like, so I wanted to go to grad school, but I couldn't. So or I didn't think I could. So I went to the grad school that was hiring actors uh -huh. to work with the grad students. And I just started doing those shows. Oh. And, um. That led to readings. The readings led to people who were doing movies. The people who were doing movies were like, you want to be in my indie movie? Made four or five of those. One of those won at Sundance. Then I had something to talk to an agent about. So when I met with agents, they were like, you done anything? It's like, well, I got these five movies. Oh, where'd you get five movies? Oh. Yeah, I never had and so it started to build sense. stuff up once I had an agent to get me out and going. For me, it was like I was motivated to do it. I was doing like I'd rehearse a show in the day, do a show at night, have a overnight job, stuff like that. So right. like, lots of hustle in the early part. Yeah, no, you, do, you grind during the day, go, go to work at night. No, yeah. no, that, that makes perfect sense. Now, that's dope because like especially something like acting, like everybody's path in it is different. Yeah. Like, you know, you get the kids who studied theater since they were six, and then you get other people who's like, shit, I never took a class. Or, you know, it, every end of the spectrum. But there's no one way to say, this is how you do it. You know what I mean? Definitely not. There's no one way. And I do think it's also about, like, what do you believe about what you've done? Like, as you say, you got people who've been studying since they were six, and mm -hmm. they're like, got the whole resume of, like, I went to this school, that school, this school, that school, this school, right? When I look at my past now, I can say, oh, right, we moved a lot. We were homeless some. We were poor a lot. But what I did do, like, every time I moved, I'd do a play, even if it was, like, first grade play, kindergarten play, local community theater play. Right. Like, we would move, and in those three months, wherever we were, four months, six months, a year, I'd do plays. Uh -huh. So when I look back at it, I go, oh, right, I was doing plays the whole time growing up, but I didn't realize until I was a teenager, like late teens, that, oh, I'd like to do acting. Yeah. Because it didn't seem like I'd been training, but when I look back on it... It kind of all fell into place. Yeah, right? I could say I was training, but I wouldn't have thought about it while I was doing it. Now, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. That makes perfect sense, because yeah. a lot of times you're getting ready for stuff that you don't even know that you're going to either, A, be interested in later in life, and boom, it's like, it's like, 
When I was in college, I was thinking about doing porn. And then go, <laughs> yeah, because. Welly, I'm I've telling you, you can still life. do porn. Yeah. <laughs> Welly, I'm telling you. I'm oh, telling you because oh, I've gotten shit. the DMs. <laughs> there is an audience for me is, is showering naked. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that is not. No, and Welly, on, I'm man. sure there are people out there <laughs> who would support you being showered <laughs> naked as much as they're with me. Only fan. You, so you're saying Probably the same fans. people. I should just get an OnlyFans. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? I go in OF. <laughs> he got the abbreviated term, OF. <laughs> He's dabbled. <laughs> also, speaking of OnlyFans, very important. I found out where the OnlyFans chicks hang out at. This motherfucker. <laughs> yo, this motherfucker is a yo. You know what he'll do? He'll be driving, right? He'll just be going around places. And as soon as he sees something he'll like, he'll hit the block again. <laughs> then he'll hit the block again. Yeah, like he'll just keep going. For allegedly. That. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. That's yeah. called stalking. Allegedly. <laughs> it ain't stalking. It's, it's, it's hitting the block again. Sometimes you got to hit the block again. But I, Sometimes yeah. you got to spin the block. Whoa. I'll spin the block. I don't want to know. Block. I don't want to know for things I'm going to do in my life where the only girls fan, only fan girls hang out. But I can tell you. Meatpacking district. Yes. Saturday nights around 10 o'clock. Yeah, there. Uh -oh. I should have been there, but I wasn't. Like, I just want to know, like, when they buy in the ass, how do they tell the doctor how much ass they want? That's a good <laughs> Like, yo, doc, you know, just give me all of the ass you got back there. I need it all. Like, what the Check your fuck? inventory. I want I want yo, everything. Matter of fact, borrow some ass from the other doctor in the office next door. I get some ass. Like, what the fuck? Like, Joel, they are out here. I don't know if you've noticed. They are out here. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. I like, spend like, a lot of my time on playgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I have a kid, Willie. Yeah, there's a registry. <laughs> oh, you, no. No, I have a kid. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't go to the meat packing district. I spend I'm my time. Meat, oh, man. shit. We go to soccer <laughs> class. We drive to school. That's how you get 100K? Soccer class in the playground? Yeah, that's how you do. <laughs> he said that's how you do it. You don't get to go to the meat packing district to look at, um, I had something to give it a try. I had Do they call it a butt lift or an augmentation or what do they call it? I shit. I I don't know. That's a good question. I have mad questions about that. Like I got questions, but not only that, I'm now learning the science behind it. I was telling him about it. I now learned that when you get your ass done, this is the craziest shit. You get your ass done, you gotta have something that you wear to keep the ass together. Yeah, the the the, the, girdle. the ass together. What do you call it? Wait, the what? girdle. Yeah, you the gotta girdle? have the girdle. What if you don't have the girdle? Your ass falls apart. The ass falls to your ankles. Yeah, I guess. your ass. Your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wildest shit. It's like, yo, it 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 sags and then it falls apart. You got to wear the onesie like the rest, like a bad yeah, wrestler. Yeah, I've seen it. Like, you know, the bad wrestlers, they wear the onesie with the spaghetti strap. The <laughs> I'm not happier about my limited world right now. <laughs> Man, no, nah, there's like, some shit out no, here. No, no, because you get, to be at all, you get to be at a certain age. You're like, well, do I still have it? And now I know I don't want it. Right, right. But you right, haven't right. seen it. <laughs> you haven't seen what's out here. I mean, I've seen it on my Instagram, apparently. <laughs> like, look. I'm going to be honest. I talk heavy yeah. shit. Ah, these bitches on Instagram. Ah, who, who wants that? That's crazy. But they look all right with clothes <laughs> on, bro. Like, you'll be amazed. There is such like, a thing as too much ass. But in the... Uh, yeah, I mean, let's be honest. Who has dick for all of that? That, that That's too much going I don't, on. Sometimes there's too much going that's on. That's way too much ass. Dude. Whoa, but... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Feel a little uncomfortable. All right. <laughs> Move it well, on. Thank you. <laughs> Move it on. This guy's weak. <laughs> I love Joe. This is good. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on, because you no, found out he got good. 100K. He's, like, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's real. I like that. All right, boom. <laughs> so we've all been broken here. Cool. No. Let's pass it around the room. Quote. Shit. I craziest know shit you you've done while broke. The craziest shit I've done while being broke. There's levels. There's levels to being broke. Yes, right? there is. And there's, mm, there's <laughs> I don't know if I, because yeah, sometimes I'm still broke. So I don't know if I should detail like what the sure, what the sure. what the unless it's some shit you did yesterday. I can think of two is things in particular. Legal? Well, yeah, that's a good question. Le legals are very Tell brown. Us the most illegal bat. Like you don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, I hopped the turnstiles to getting in and getting on the train. Whatever. I've done that, but it's like I've finessed my way into free food. I've done that. I, oh, I've talked about that before. Thing. I can oh, do that. I can finesse my way into free food. I've personality my way into meals. I can do that. That's not very grimy. But <laughs> but let me tell you, when you get and this is gonna sound fucked up, but it's the truth. When you get good at it, you could go into an you can go into a situation knowing I'm gonna eat lunch today. You you could you just know. <laughs> 
You just get that feeling like I'm gonna eat some good ass food. Like that's I, I get that feeling. Yeah, it normally costs me money. Yeah, like that Shake Shack <laughs> in the park over on uh, 24th Street in New York. Yeah. Yo, oh, oh, oh you, I, you fucks them I, up. I, I, I finesse them. <laughs> some people are harder to finesse than others, but it's like if I know certain people are there, like if I know a, if I know yeah. somebody is there who just you got a mark. Yeah, it's like you got to learn these people, right? Like I know one guy. If I go to if I go to a <laughs> certain <laughs> Boston market, <laughs> if I go to a certain Boston market right now, I know a certain guy just came back from Atlantic City and lost like. <laughs> I know that. So if I talk to him about that, losing money in Atlantic City, I don't gamble. But if I talk to him about losing money in Atlantic City, yeah. I'm getting rotisserie chicken. <laughs> and two sides of sweet? I mean, I'll get the mash and the, and the cream oh, oh. spinach, but yeah. I know that. Because I, mean, I, I, I got a grimy. <laughs> I got low. Really? You? You're low. I'm scared I, of so, low. I, I don't. <laughs> so I'll get you. You said like, I don't. <laughs> well, the only shit that I really do when I'm broke like I, I consider broke and hungry go together. Yes. So you're only hungry. You get real hungry when you're you broke. You get extra. I don't know you why. Hungry but when you broke. being broke is like that yeah. shit don't make you hungry than a motherfucker. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. I've been my hungriest when I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Yo, you you just check your checking yeah, that, account. You see a minus cortisol. sign. That's a cortisol reaction. Yeah. <gasps> For real. I've checked my checking account. I've seen it's negative. I'm like, well, all of a sudden I want a sandwich. I, I don't know why that happened. Right. Dude, that's true. Yeah, that is very true. All of a sudden. There is science. Your body behind goes, oh, we better save. Go eat a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, you got nothing. Go eat a sandwich. Yo, that's true. Oh man. But nah, being broke, the craziest thing I've done, patch up a relationship with somebody that's like, mm. I can't stand this motherfucker, <laughs> but he owe me twenty dollars. We gonna eat today. Oh, she's it's a like, collector. Yo, my man, we good. Da da da. Goofy shit. <laughs> You, know. you gonna buy me a burrito? And then that's what it leads to. <laughs> hey man, you know, you just go ahead and hit my Zell real quick, brother. You know what I mean? Then we good. Thought we're gonna that's you. really it. That's uh, really it. Cause that and go to sleep. Oh, like you man. know what? Fuck it. I want today to end. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's a right. I, I don't do that. This is uh early in New York. Cell phones weren't a thing when I first got here, because I'm old, mm -hmm. right? But I had a beeper. Mm. As, a, as an actor, I had a beeper. And uh, I need quarters all the time because my agent would call me on my cell phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm on, on my beeper. Oh, I have to call her back. I get a message or whatever. And I would hit the pay phone because that's what I had. I hit the quarters. <laughs> and one time I get there, the pay phone is fucked up. I can't make a phone call to call my agent back to be like, do I have a job? Right. Oh, shit. I'm trying to work. I'm not in the mood for a broken pay phone. So I'm like, I'm going to fix this pay phone so I can call <laughs> <laughs> No, you fix the pay phone. It turned into electrician, bro. <laughs> right? Right? So I'm like, I'm going to fix this pay phone. So Holy shit. I start pulling shit apart and reaching up and inside. <laughs> and I get up inside of the coin thing and I feel something soft. Oh, so no. I pull it out. And out comes this paper towel and $13 and quarters. Oh, shit. I was like, fuck. I could use that. <laughs> like, take all the quarters, rich. right? Take all the quarters. Call my agent. And I'm like, and I realized that there were there were some folks who would go around New York, go around the city, and they jam up the coin return. Right. So when the payphone was full of money, the coin return is full. It starts to stack up. You go in there, pull out the paper. Out comes all the quarters. So I my hustle was. <laughs> oh shit. Finding <laughs> broken pay phones that other people had jimmied uh -huh. and taking the quarters out before they got to them to collect. Ooh. That's grimy. That That's, was like that was the nineties. I was, was gonna say late eighties. That oh, was no, 90s. that was not that was like Definitely. late nineties. Late nineties, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's wow. that, that's the yo, imagine just being the nah they good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's no. kind of like when a it was desperate, when, when it was rough. When it was rough. Now you good. When it was rough, I was doing that. I'm not kidding. You got to rub the clip. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> but you had to be careful because after a while, people, you know, maybe somebody put a razor blade in there or something. You had to watch out. Wow. That's happened? Real talk? Yeah. Holy shit. So AIDS is going wild in the 90s. razor blade in they stuff. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with the AIDS thing going on, everybody freaking out. And that's, yo, <laughs> shit. That's, oh God. I, I guess it was that. a little too grimy. But it's I mean, real. Nah, it really that's happens. real shit. That's, you, that's doing what you gotta do. You can't do that in Oklahoma. That's like <laughs> that, that's yo. That's some New York grimy shit, bro. Yeah. Shit, man. Wow. Fuck uh, it. I, but when you hit the thirteen dollar jackpot, I, 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 <laughs> the thirteen dollar jackpot. Look, for thirteen dollars. I kind of get it. <laughs> for thirteen dollars, when you're hungry and you want to go to sleep, 
You got like the little Debbie cakes for like 99 cents. Oh, you eating Mickey like a like, bee, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You eating like a convicted felon. Let me tell you something. Honey buns. $13? Cupcakes. That can feed you for the week. $13, you can Pork get cupcakes. like the whole Chinese special. You can get the general sales chicken with pork fried rice and an egg roll on the side. Boom. And you still got extra rice. Cents. Extra rice? Yeah. What could they put the rice on there? You can even get the wings too. The five wings on the side? I have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, everybody's done that. Everybody's done it. I like the Singapore made fun, but it makes me go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what? fuck with anything else on the menu. I go like, I stick to what I know because I don't fuck with anything else. What was your <laughs> Singapore made fun? Singapore made fun. I've never heard of that in my life. <laughs> what the fuck? It's on the menu. Is it on the back page? Because I don't go. I don't go to the Black back page. People don't know about the menus, Jay. <laughs> we know about the 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 chicken and broccoli, the sesame <laughs> chicken, the lo mein, and the fry and the wings. <laughs> and honestly, that shit might not even be on the menu. <laughs> Why are we going to Chinese restaurants ordering American food? <laughs> ever, wait, have you ever gotten plantains from a Chinese restaurant? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I just came from Golden Crest. I got plantains from there. Bro, why do we do this shit? This is not their specialty. Hey, look, I don't. Chinese food restaurants, I stick to what I know. Yep. I stick to what the what I've been doing since I've been six years old. Stick to what you know. Black Chicken people, and we create no, our own menu wherever <laughs> the fuck we go. That happens. Like, bro, oh, this is no. a Greek. This is a Greek diner. I know. I ordered mash. I ordered sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet potato mash well, yeah, and a I, little bit of. <laughs> I went to this diner with my friend. We're out ordering, and um, I ordered uh, buffalo wings. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, bring me out a bunch of tiny drumsticks with nothing on them, just fried drumsticks. Right, you just gonna do me regular? And I'm like, fried drumsticks. This this isn't buffalo wings. No, nah. like, no, that's buffalo wings. And I'm like, <laughs> buffalo wings are like drum, little tiny drumsticks, like you have here. And then you put butter Missing and cayenne baby. pepper. You was in Utah or something. No, I was in Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm shit. sorry to and hear he that. And he comes back and, he's, he's, and he would not bend. He was like, well, that's how we do buffalo wings here. And I was like, oh, wow. What the fuck is this? Cle Darren. Clearly, you guys are savages. I don't eat my wings <laughs> without any sauce. So. No, that's not buffalo wings. That, that's, buffalo, that's, this that's, wing. That's, that's, that's just I mean, I think the city of Buffalo will sue you if you call them buffalo wings and they're just... That shit wild. Yo, when we was in Idaho, somebody was trying to give me the history of Buffalo Wings. I was like, when did that? <laughs> in Idaho? Oh. Yeah, we was, we was doing a comedy festival out there a couple weeks ago. And some dude was sitting me, no, you see, here's what happened. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, I can't give a fuck. They taste good. And, I, <laughs> and being that you know the history, I don't even want Buffalo Wings in Idaho all of a sudden. Like, it just turned me off. Like, it's what it was some shit I was going through. You know what I mean? <laughs> he said it was some shit. I, I know when to be on the story. I'm losing the crowd. I know I'm losing the crowd. I'm All judging y'all niggas. Dave over there sleeping. <laughs> this nigga, Dave works hard. Well, Spike took his dick out. I said, "All right, cool. I'm building on the story." <laughs> <laughs> so I know when to be. Dave works man. hard. You, you know, know we might lose Dave in the middle of a hurricane. <laughs> Dave's like, Dave's here a lot. Let me ask you something on the topic of being broke, though. Hey, you ever have a moment when you was broke where it's like maybe like a group of people asked, invited you out somewhere, like y'all yeah. wanted to hang out, but you just didn't have it. You know, I'll tell you the flip. I've definitely been in that situation. Right. Definitely didn't have it. Definitely felt like a heel. And then I was out one night and, you know, I don't dress real nice. I, I like keep it mild. I'm just a just this is me. I don't mm -hmm. I don't put on airs. I don't. There's no jewelry. There's no nothing. And I was out for a friend's engagement and it was just everybody looked at me like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just felt it. I just felt it. They were like, you could feel that you type could of feel energy. It. The vibe. Like this whole room thinks I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. So I went up to the waiter. I said, um, let me buy this. Like I just paid for the night and left. Mm -hmm. I just paid for like whatever 13 people were eating for four hours and left the restaurant. Big flex. Because I felt like such shit. Oh, you better than me. He got a hundred k and a hundred k, but 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 but, but you still better. I could have three hundred k. You still better than me. If y'all making me feel like that. that, but I felt like such a piece of shit that always that was the only way I could deal with it. Really, just pay the bill and leave. How'd pay you feel when you left? Everybody, I felt like a really angry piece of shit. <laughs> you know what's crazy? <laughs> like I felt like that. I felt like the broke friend. That shit ain't no good feeling. Yeah, it like, sucks, man. Like shit, you know, being out with Tracy, Tiffany, shit. Oh yeah, it's like. I, I'm, you just look around. Oh. You just look at the table. I remember I was at Charlemagne's birthday party, and it was me, Tiffany. It was everybody there. It was Colin Kaepernick was there. It was a lot of motherfuckers was there. A lot of money, and I was just like, "This shit paid for, right?" Yeah, exactly. y'all don't need help with thing, this. That was the thing that I find when I'm out with people who have that much money. <laughs> they like, it's not going to come up. 
Right. It's not going to come up. You're not going to be out with people who have money like that. And they're going to be like, do you have the five dollars? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't come up. It, it, it's it never like, like, you know, feel, feel but I didn't want to be that like j- judging the room. Mm. At, like everybody was there. Right. So it's like, oh, I'm the broke motherfucker in here. Like, but sometimes that's a good that's a good place to be. Sometimes that's a good place no, to be. Sometimes not, I've had moments. I've had dinners. Like here's the thing, right? I've been invited to dinners. The same situation. I've I just been, didn't been, want to be the broke guy having all the fun. But that's the <laughs> best position to be in because they because yes. if you're the broke person, all you could bring is fun. <laughs> that's it. Personality. That's all you, oh, yes. Yes. I've been invited to dinners when they know I ain't have shit. We want you there because you're a fun motherfucker. I Word, there. I, I get more fun. Get. I get funnier when I'm broke. So I, I let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm there, yo. Y'all want wings? Y'all want appetizers, desserts? Like I'm that guy, right? I'll have a blast if I ain't paying. I'll give a fuck, yo. Real talk. It's even, even, even when my, even when the job be treating everybody, I, I'm ordering everything. My mom's always said, yo, did your job stop? Yes, <laughs> yes, that's true. They treated everybody to a lunch, and I went in. I ordered everything. <laughs> I got lobster bits. You ever have lobster bits, Joe? Yeah, no, the I have. Good have. ass shit. You know, I've had a lot of shit. <laughs> On the company's I budget, got lots of bits. I got the sandwich, the the side, the what app. Ha- what happened to that job? Uh, <laughs> they don't take us. They don't take nobody out no more. That's what happens. They don't do that. Now I'm known as the guy who went crazy. But you do that. My mom's always said, "Look, if they pay, it, let them pay. They got it. If they got the money, let them pay. That's it. That's crazy. That's it. Bro. You're not gonna bring me out to eat and expect me not to eat. Who do who do that? Who do that? I don't know. Do I always do the opposite. I'm always ordering like, oh yeah, I'll just have a side set. Yeah, I, I, I'm always the nigga that's not nah, that hungry, look at us. bro. We big dudes here. Oh, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. I gotta eat. That's what I'm saying. So uh, I nah, let people know. It always starts off as, no, nah, I'll just have and then, and then the, you know, I'm with people I know and they peep it. They be like, man, go get what you want. I'm like, I, then when when they say that, what do you say? Nah. No, when they say get what you want, I'm like, are you sure? And then they'll be like, yeah. I'm like, you know who I am. Just, just you've seen the resume. Now you, you want IMBD, I am. you I'm on Yelp. They know me. They know me. They know me. Okay, I'm like, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eater. I'm gonna eater. Uh, you'll have a blast with me there. But when that check comes, I gotta go to the bathroom. Come oh, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, I get the runs. You a eater? And so, yeah, I'm a eater. So when he comes, hey, <laughs> say one more time for the for the thumbnail. All I'm, <laughs> all I'm saying is eater. when they say when they say, all right. So is this gonna be all on one check? I gotta go to the bathroom. I got, I'm out. I gotta go. I gotta go to the bathroom. Definitely, he's a piece of shit, bro. A lot, definitely a level of food hustle <laughs> yeah. going on. It's you like, gotta survive, man. It's, this is what it's about. I don't think you're gonna not survive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Apparently, you could go a couple of days without food. I refuse. Fine. Nah, man. I gotta eat. Put I gotta me eat. in a hole. I'm I never forget. Right. I never forget the people who feed me, though. Never forget the people who feed you. you know? Because you know you can go back and fool them after they're not even that. Because cake. food to me is such wow. a big deal. Food to me is such a big deal that if you feed me, I'm going to feed you, you someday. Cook? Uh, uh, this is a new thing. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I Hot dogs, hamburgers. <laughs> I said, bro, you could throw cheese on your burger and that hey, was a babe. cheeseburger. He's like, ah, I don't like to get too hey, crazy. I, I, I bought the book, chapter one, boiling water. Like, that, that, was a, that was a trip. But, you know, we, 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 made a, we made my food not good, but I could eat it. I make good food. Really? Like what? What do you make? Most complicated thing I make is probably uh, chicken palm. Steamed pork buns. Oh, he's real. Bunt? Buns, buns. Like Chinese oh, steamed pork buns. buns. You know the like little ones that pleated. Okay, okay. You get, okay. like the roasted pork on the inside. Oh, you, you don't fuck them right. No, you see how he steams it. Steam is the big word. If you yeah, cook, yeah. steaming is a big. Sh- that's a big thing. No, he's good. You so, don't just steam. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. steam a lot of shit. That's so good. Jay, what's some of the fun shit? Season one, last OG being on set. Oh man, I mean, my favorite part of season one was was I got Cedric to laugh. Mm. Because he's a smart dude. Mm -hmm. As soon as you meet him, I mean, everybody knows he's a funny dude, but he's a very smart dude. And he's really like tuned in and listening. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I was nervous because I I really respect him as a comedian. And the day I got him to laugh, like actually laugh, that was Uh one of my favorite days on set. And our relationship changed in terms of work. It does. Really? Yeah, 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 I got like a- Cause it's like, all right, I can fuck with him. He funny. Yeah. I didn't need to get a lot of laughs from him, and I don't expect to. He's just like, he's aces, you know what I mean? But I got a good laugh, and then I was in a little bit more, and that was like, that was one of the best parts of the season for me. I know it's a small thing. No, but no, to no, get that makes a sense. A little no, bit of respect huge. from somebody who I have a lot of respect for, 
That meant a lot to me. Because the flip side to that could be, nah, he's corny. I'm not fucking with him. So that's the flip side. And then yeah. it's like, I still got to work with him, but he thinks I'm corny. Oh. It's a comedy TV show we doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is corny. big, bro. Yeah. And like, I remember one day we was on set. You were filming as well. Um, You know, halfway house shit. You guys were doing a scene. It better not be the meat scene. It, it was oh, that. It was that. Wait, wait, I need the story. I need it the was story. That. Go ahead. Tell me what you saw, because I want to talk about the meat scene today, but you go ahead. So, <laughs> <laughs> so all right, boom. You know, we're filming, blah, 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 right? And so so far, this shit is a typical day. But we're doing the lines, and in it, like, uh, uh, Alan gives Tracy, like, a meat tray, like, a bunch of so assorted meats. And boom. <laughs> You're shaking his head. Then he brings it back to the halfway house. Boom. He's eating the meats. No, not just me. Me and Derek. Yeah, you and Derek. Me and Derek are hitting the meats hard. This will be important later. Right. But <laughs> the crazy shit is, bro, they fucking eating the meat, but they not spitting it out in between takes. Fuck. <laughs> they eating this, eating this. And, I, and I'm paying attention to shit. And then, like, one time I was like, yo, this is like take... 14. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and they still eating this meat. Tracy was like, yo, y'all ain't got no spit bucket over there? <laughs> he was just like, nah, bro, Tracy. but I'm lightheaded. <laughs> oh my God. Tracy saved our life that day. I think that was Mo's episode, but I'm not sure who was directing that day. It In my could, mind, I think it's Mo, but I could be wrong about that. It was either Mo or Chi okay. Shout out to both yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of them. One of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we were hitting it hard. This is mm -hmm. I'm so happy you brought that up because it was in my head. Mm -hmm. And we were hitting it hard. And like Derek was grabbing a piece of meat or two, I was grabbing a piece of meat or two. Daniel uh -huh. was smart. He went for the kale, smart. so he was like <laughs> rolling a fake joint with the mm. kale. Yeah, right. And I don't know what Gino was doing. I think he was making himself a mask, but they it's had avoided eating shit. it. But Derek and I, man, we got the meat sweats. Oh, my we God. were rough. We're shaking. Salt's coming out of us. Actually, it had to. Yeah, had no. Been one of the hottest days. Oh of the my summer. god! Oh, We're in this that, church. Yeah, it was like a Sweating. fake church or whatever. Yeah, it was so bad I could not eat a deli sandwich for a year and a half. I believe. What that. kind of meat was it? Like, 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 like ham. Yeah. Like, like Ugh. rolled up ham. And I was off of meats for a year and a half. You can you can ask Derek or ask Daniel to look at the text thread because <laughs> I I, every it. once in a while I'd be like, nope, still can't eat deli meat. I believe it. <laughs> still can't eat deli Because this shit turned me off. Ooh. I wasn't eating it, bro. But Tracy saved my life that day. He risked my life as well, but he <laughs> saved my life when he was like, we got to save these guys. I brought that shit up because I was like, damn, this shit is crazy. Like, nobody going to stop them? Like, this is acting, bro. It's make-believe. But damn. also... In between scenes, no, fuck that. In between takes, tr uh, Cedric is telling the craziest, the <laughs> funniest John Travolta story. Him and John Travolta had did a movie. He was telling us, like, like you know, just like behind the scenes shit. Bro, I'm laughing uncontrollably. Ben is going crazy. <laughs> Ben's Tracy's old assistant. Ben's going crazy. Everybody is dying. You're either in this conversation or saying to yourself, them motherfuckers need to grow up. <laughs> no. It, it, like, because you know how women don't think nothing men do or say is funny. They're like, it can't be that funny. You can't breathe. Like, <laughs> you can't breathe. No. It's so funny. All the oxygen just Bro, gone. It just, <laughs> it's just gone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker over here lifeless. <laughs> Motherfucker lifeless. Can't take nothing serious. <laughs> right. So, yo, I wish I could retell the story. I, I'm not going to retell it because I'm going to fuck it up. Also inside baseball. You're right. You don't talk about that. Inside baseball. Exactly. But I got to have Cedric on to tell the shit. But the shit was just so funny. Like, I don't Like, because the director is supposed to be the one. Like, all right, guys, you know, let's go. Get it together, right? Yeah. Who, I forget if it was Mo or Chioke, they were like, this shit is hilarious. Because <laughs> then they're the ones like, yo, time is money. Let's go. You know, no, no, no. And um, yeah, that shit just, I, I, like, I. Also, so it's clear why we might be confused. Often we had two directors on scene at the same time because yeah, we were yeah. shot in blocks. Yeah. So we'd be shooting with two or three different directors on the same day in the same set. Mm -hmm. 
Because it would be episodes. two different episodes shot in the same That's day. That's why it's sometimes hard to yeah. remember that which makes... episode you were on. Right. Because we'd switch between directors. Yeah, because that morning y'all could have been shooting episode nine, and by afternoon you were on six. That got to make shit more complicated then, right? It no. doesn't, it doesn't. On it, that show, it doesn't matter as much because most of the supporting cast is pretty stagnant. Right. right. And the motion, the movement, the change is in Tracy's character or in the family. And mm -hmm. so they're charting change over the course of a season, but the rest of us are there to support and like keep our vibe in it, mm, you know? Okay. So it's, it's what, not as hard for us to track. What I learned from that is focus on what you're doing. Right. Like, don't worry about how the story comes together at the end. Because on the last OG, the first day we recorded the ending. Yeah. Like that was the last scene of episode 10. And I, I was like, what? Like, this is the, the end? This is for just like so y'all did y'all finish after this? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean I, that, that's important for me. I like to talk to young actors. That's an important thing to remember is when you're doing film and television, you're not in charge of the narrative. No. That's the editor, that's the producer, just that's the director. Yep. You be in the moment, you do your best, you know your lines, you tell the story as as you understand that moment. Mm -hmm. And then if someone's like the moment's a little different, you sh you flex because they're the ones who are going to craft it. They're the ones who are going to yeah. bring the best out of it. And if you can't get on the right page, you're just going to look like a fumble and not like somebody who's improved it. You got to find what that is and become part of that. Yeah, definitely. You, you are you like you're an actor. You're not paid up there to bring the story together. No, they told you what they need you to do. They were very clear in that shit. You but, know what I mean? But in a comedy like this, one of the things they told you to do is be funny, improvise in certain mm -hmm. places, feel freedom, you know, because they do want that energy. So yeah, it's yeah. not to kill your creativity. Yeah. It's just to say, this is the world that your creativity exists in. If you go outside of it, it's going to be confusing when I have to exercise mine, which is editing and shooting it. Okay. Then question for you both. How much of yourself is in each role that you guys play? Guy, you first. Yeah, it changes. It's different uh, parts apart, but I, I like... I like to put on a character. I think I like to put on a character. If you look at the different things I've done, I think there's a great difference between the characters. I think often there's, I guess it's all got to be part of you, but I, I really believe that you can do character work and it's, it's you create a Totally separate, separate from. Not totally separate, but pretty separate. Yeah, like I'm playing a character. I'm not playing myself. Right. So uh, you could give fucking 20% of yourself. Cause, and that's okay because... They, they want you to bring this character out. They're not saying, go up here and be yourself. No, that would be stand-up. Right. Go up yeah. there and be yourself. But remember, you're acting. This is this is, this is is not supposed to. Denzel Washington don't really talk like that. He doesn't <laughs> act like the, fact. you motherfuckers. He's not saying, he doesn't say that to his kids. Nothing cut. <laughs> his wife would leave him if he did that shit in the kitchen. So, nah. You know, it's. You just, it's, I think it's the perfect balance. Whatever the balance is, it's probably not going to be 50 50. Like, uh, like when you, like when, when you did Orange is the New Black, I'm sure that was different from when you did Last OG and so on and so forth. Also, it's such a different style. Those shows yeah. are different. The writing style is so different. Yes. Right. Last OG, we had all 10 in the pocket. We had all 10 done. Mm -hmm. They had a sense of what that character was. I definitely had to come in and fulfill that. To be able to sustain 10 episodes, right? Right. With Orange, they were they were hired for 13 episodes. They had the first one or two or three totally written, but then they were creating writing the as rest they of them. Go. They may have had a chart for where it was going to end, but they're writing and they're adjusting. They see this performance, or they can't have this actor for episode six, or they mm -hmm. can't have that actor for episode nine, right. or they get a chance to work with this director, so they bring her in and have her put her mark on it. Mm -hmm. You know, so when they're doing that, they're adjusting their writing a lot of the time. Yes. And so it's it's a different process because the writer can start to collab with you a little bit, get a sense of what your personality is and write in regards to that. So like when I start on, on Orange, you would see certain things I was asked to do. And as it progressed, you'd see they had me doing more physical comedy, different kinds of things, different kinds of yeah. weird thinkings and language. And they got to know me. So they would invest in me as, as well as the character. And that happens with certain t certain styles of writing. It when happens. you block shoot, you can't do it as much. Right. You can do it season to season when you're block shooting like that. Season to season, yeah, you could definitely switch. Yes, I totally understand that shit. But yo, switching gears. Yeah. <clears throat> Naomi Osaka, boom. Oh, yeah. Yo, I completely respect what she did. She said, I need some time off for my mental health. And they wasn't trying to hear that. Talking to the press affects my mental health. I'm not doing it. She said, all together, I'm pulling out. I'm... 
I'm, I'm pulling out of these tournaments. It's a thug move she did, but it's I get why she did it. I personally, I get it. I respect it. But they're not trying to hear that. They're not trying to hear that. <laughs> you know why she did that? Why? That ain't nothing you could do when you broke. <laughs> no, you, you can't you, do that when you broke. You, you, and you, you get, shut up and you play tennis. You got to talk to Naomi about. Osaka made $55 million last year. She Did said, I work when I oh, want shit. to. Yes. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Ellie, and I, I get where you're coming from, but I also think there's so much pressure when you've had that level of success. Mm -hmm. There's so much pressure. Like, I had friends who were, like, doing Broadway, doing the whole thing. Right. Lots of exposure. And that amount of pressure can give you such anxiety that you're supposed to perform there again. You're supposed to get there again. And however, I don't know her to say it, mm -hmm. but I know that trying to manage the anxiety of success can be difficult when it's public. It can be difficult Definitely. when that success requires press and whatever, whatever. For a lot of people. Yeah, for a lot of people. And like some people are more introspective. Their work is introspective. And I think some athletes are that way. They're only competing against themselves. Yes. And if you're going to ask them to externalize it in such a big setting, you know, there, there are people who are good at it. To do that, to be in the press situation, then there are people. Some not. people are just built right. for it. Some people, like, look at Charles Barkley. He's built for that. Charles Barkley's built for the press. He's always but, like that, like always. bullshit and yeah. whatever else. It's but, but the, you see, there's a lot of football players you see in basketball. They come out and they're just like, they don't say anything, right? Exactly because they know that that's not what they're good at. That's not what they exactly. want to get into. They're there to play basketball. Russell Westbrook. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Remember that well, shit. That wasn't Russell Westbrook. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Yeah, that it was. was Marshawn Lynch, good brother. Everybody, well, Marshawn, a lot of people picked Marshawn it up. He started it. He started it, but a lot of people picked up on it. But see, Russell Westbrook is good at that. Sometimes he just don't feel like doing it. And that's okay, too. But I understand that's a part of the job. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I, what I like about the move is 23-year-old making $55 million last year. Cool. $55 million? Double nickel. She's not hungry. She's good. No, she's good. <laughs> she ain't been hungry in a minute. But... I like to see people taking charge of their mental health. Yeah. Especially a 23 year old. At 23 year old, man, you know what mental health was? For me, McDonald's. I'm good. <laughs> it's, 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 I ain't never seen somebody having a bad day in a McDonald's commercial. So that was. They good. call Happy Meals, bro. You're right. Right. They literally <laughs> have Happy Meals. <laughs> they they happy, meals. happy Meals. Food? Everybody the having a good time yeah. in those commercials. <laughs> yeah. Two pies in my mail. Bro, I'm going to get a Happy Meal <laughs> after this, bro. <laughs> They're going to get a happy meal. meal, go home sad as shit when you got to take that shit when you get home. But still, it's, yo, What's mental health is important. They just don't prioritize it. That's what it is. That's nah. the problem. Nobody. It's a business. They're going to prioritize a yeah. business to sports. That's right. What they're going to prioritize. Nobody looks at it like, no, because I think you and me was having this conversation one time. They look at athletes not as people, as like, you know, the, like like performers, yeah, but it's like they just have to do what they're supposed to do. You know? Yeah, come on, we got a game tonight. Let's exactly, go. that's what it is. This is. They're not. These aren't people. These are just people who perform. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that's Do you think that's going to change at all? Having gone through this whole COVID thing, where it's been so complicated for the sports, where like you go out there, you do your best, you're performing, you're performing, you're performing. Oh, you got COVID, you're out of the competition. Like this just happened to one of the golfers today. You got yeah, I, I, oh, I, I, I seen that, but I, I didn't. I don't know. What it, was it? Yeah, yeah. He, he pulled out. out. He yeah. was winning, and he, he was he winning. He was yes. up, and they were like, "No, nah, you got to go. You got COVID." That's that's a great question because is COVID will it ever nor be normalized like the flu? Jordan had the flu game, legendary game. What if a motherfucker have the COVID game? <laughs> that, that ain't no COVID game, yeah. bro. That ain't no Who's COVID like, game. Like COVID? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it was it's the COVID the game. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no bro, COVID if Braun nah, yeah. if Braun have yeah. a COVID game, that bro, lung just a... falls out. That's not really <laughs> a game. <laughs> that ain't no COVID. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Yo, no AD have a COVID game, nah, son? Bro. I'm buying the sneakers, nah. bro. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> The COVID game. The COVID game. Nah. Let's go. Let's hit some fan questions real quick. Fan That's questions. right. We got questions this week. So, Joel, now you're new to the show, so I got to let you know how this goes. <laughs> yeah. This segment's called Question with Quote. So we take we take questions from our viewers at home. We shout them out, and we read them, and then we discuss. All right. So I got a couple for y'all this week. Boom, right here. First one's coming from Rocco, and I like this question a lot. Right. Shout out to you, Rocco. Shout out to Rocco. He always be sending questions. Real talk. What was everybody's inspiration growing up? Could have been a person, a thing, anything. What would just as a child? Go ahead, Jay. You a guest? No, you're first. <laughs> Don't try to buy time by selling me. Call Don't about all this shit. Me. Call about all this really shit. He really knows. I like me, that. So he knows my shit. <laughs> Yo, Jesus, well, a lot of them. A lot of them. Quiet on set was because I was talking. A lot of that he knows. But 
a lot of my inspiration growing up was simply I knew I was going to the NBA. I knew it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Nigga laughed too hard. Nigga laughed too hard. Yeah, yeah. I it. But I, I, I always that. thought I would be an athlete, whether it was NBA, NBA, MLB. I, it was either either or. So my inspiration was always sports. I loved Jordan. I loved the Knicks, but I hated Patrick Ewing. So that's pretty much what it was. All my inspiration was sports. That's crazy because. I always, I never wanted to do sports. I, Michael Jordan was an inspiration, but he never, for me, I never wanted to do sports. I didn't really know. It was just, I was just kind of just floating around. You were just kind of hungry. I was time. just kind of just there. As far as inspiration goes, it's, it's like, cause I don't know. I really didn't, I don't want to say I didn't have none, but it's like, I never knew what I wanted to do when I was a kid, right? So I would just look at people around me, see what they was doing, consider them inspirations. Oh, so like, he's a fucking follower. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a true story, right? We actually had, this is back when we was, so I grew up in Irvington, New Jersey, right? So we used to have somebody who lived with us who used to like clean the house. And that's all she would really do. Y'all motherfuckers had a maid? Well, let me get to that. She wasn't a maid. She lived with us. But that was just kind of what she did. Yeah, rich motherfuckers maids live with them. Bro. Well, it's a complicated story because she came from the islands and then she came up. And oh, she's doing it for the papers. It, yeah, and she never got... Well, let me know. She never got the papers? <laughs> let me not say that. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. It's no she, got she got him. 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 And that was my him. inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she that's what she did. So he said... There was, oh, there was, you know, this nigga gonna blow the shit up. He, he gonna blow the shit up. He wanted to clean people oh, out, man. bro. That was, that's the thing. So when I was a kid, I was having a conversation with my pops and my older sister. And they were like, Alex, I remember specifically where I was. I was like five years old. Alex, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, a maid. I didn't know. I said, I want to be a maid. And it should look good. And he's been a big ass nigga ever since. <laughs> that's a true story. So. I looked at the people around me. I looked at the people who were just cleaning the house. I want to be. I want to be one of them. They, that's all I know. She got all that dust on it. Oh, like oh shit! Almost what my about public. You, uh, you know, I didn't know. I didn't know. I want to be a performer when I was a kid. So it wasn't a lot of that. I, I had this belief. I want to be like a physicist or like an engineer. That's you know, there's a lot of engineers in my mom's family. So I thought mm -hmm. that would be what was going on. But what I will say, when I look back on it, is freaking SNL, dude. Mm. Oh, okay. Always SNL. And I remember, I think I was like 13. I had a stepbrother, stepsister. When I was 13, Jamal was 12, my sister was 11, and Aaliyah was 10. And we had this standing bet of like 30 bucks, whoever was the first one to get on SNL. Now, will that happen? Probably not. But I remember that bet, and it just sort of stuck with me. And like SNL for me was like a, like a weekend of I fall asleep as a child watching it start mm -hmm. up. I get to like... 12 o'clock and I'd be out before the rest of the sketches. But that was that to me was like a constant. And like people like John Belushi, just like mm. funny, funny, funny people that were like on my television. Eddie Murphy Chris Farley had this really too, right? silly like rapping Christmas presents bit or like the uh, Richard Pryor bit with Chevy Chase. I, I remember that. Oh, that's, that's legendary. And that's all, that, all yeah. that shit was like kind of inspirational to me and when i've gotten a chance to work with any of those people or meet any of those people it's felt that way so i think that was could have cashed in on the bet like hey look i work I with could, i know i should have been like tracy get me in there i need 30 dollars <laughs> just give me backstage <laughs> i need 30 dollars <laughs> that's why i like that wow boom next question y'all have real inspiration ain't that some shit all right you this next two apparently <laughs> hey man this next has come from kubana shout out to you kubana uh -huh. what's something you guys have experienced as children that kids won't get to experience now we used to pay for the telephone in the house, the, the, the line. You paid for it? No, but we, we rented the physical telephone. Mm -hmm. So we had a telephone, like a big, heavy, rotary dial telephone. It probably weighed like 12 pounds. Do you know the kind I'm talking about? The dial? The thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We rented that from the phone company. Wow. We had to return it like an old cable box when we turned off service. Oh, okay, okay, like cream box. Yeah, that yeah. sounds crazy. Wow, that's it different. sounds crazy. When I, whenever I think of times like that, like I immediately think like everything was just black and white. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I can't picture that as like color. Like to me, that's just black and white television. I know. I know what I'm. A, what I experience that kids these days won't experience. What's that? Ass whoopings. Yeah, probably. Not. <laughs> yeah, these kids ain't getting that. Is uh, yeah. I, I mean, to, bro, I used to be in the house like, wow. So you, my mom, you, my dad. Do y'all even love me? <laughs> like, you just tore my ass apart. <laughs> Talking about do I that's want how, something? That's how you know they loved you, though. Talking about do I want something to eat? No, it's <laughs> fucking hurting, man. 
Oh, my mom was a ninja with that belt. That's for sure. She, knew, she knew how to use that shit. <laughs> she I'm like, that shit like, where, nunchuck? like, yeah, yeah, like, 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 who taught you that? Somebody taught you that, right? Probably her mother is going. Now her mother down. used the the switch they called it. Oh, the switch, yeah, 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 yeah off yeah, the tree or yeah, some yeah. shit. Yeah, my, my grandmother had a wooden spoon. Yeah, the wooden spoon. Dang. Like about that. Big. My mom's used that Dipped one. On that's not a wooden spoon. That's <laughs> that's the. My mom's used the it wooden was, spoon, and she was like, "That probably don't hurt you, huh?" At school, I went to a school where they would hit you for a while. I was at a school like that. And they had a paddle with holes in it. Oh, shit. And that would hurt. Damn. A paddle? Yeah, like a paddle with holes in it to leave you like little spots on your bottom. What about you? What what uh, uh what won't kids? What won't kids experience that I experience? Hmm. I shit, man. I don't really know. Cause well, I mean, you you touched on the big one, ass weapons, but it's like not having the internet, bro. That's the weirdest shit. It's but like you didn't know what the internet was. But it's like it's. But it, I, we never had it. That, I remember specifically when we got internet. Like y'all probably had it. We got it in like ninety nine. Like, that, that's when we got had it. it. No, I didn't have internet till college. So when was that? End of college. I graduated in ninety seven. No. I didn't have a Hotmail account until 96. Hotmail, wow. I know hotmail. somebody who still got a Hotmail. That's crazy. I used I'm to like, have I'm not, if, you got a, if you don't have a Gmail or uh, email, I'm not sending you shit. <laughs> I ain't sending you shit. I'm not sending you Well, shit. my agent has an AOL account. Wow. What are they doing with their lives, man? He or she? She. She got to pay for that. She's got an AOL account she's had, I mean, at least 21 years. Wow. 21 years? At least Oh, that's that. Imagine got, paying for email address. Man. That's what AOL is. Nah, Gmail keep it moving. For, keep it moving. Gmail for life. Uh, next one come from Kwame. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Good question from Kwame. Why do women ask for your food when you offer to get them whatever they want? I want to know too. Why? Oh, why? That's just women. Women like variety when it comes down to eat. I've noticed that women just like variety. They don't want your food. They just want to pick at that, pick at that, pick at that. I don't. That, I don't agree with you. No, I don't agree either. But no, you first. <laughs> I think most of the time she wants the donut, but she'll be embarrassed if she orders a donut. So you eat. You order the donut. She doesn't want you to suffer eating a donut. She wants you to get fatter. So she's going to eat most of your donut to save you from yourself while she enjoys the donut she wanted, but she wasn't going to order. Ooh. That's genius level. <laughs> that's, that's, level of, that's genius that's level shit deep. right there. That's, that's why deep. you can't win an argument because that's how, how far ahead they think. That, I've been telling dudes. They're smarter than us. Every night I get on stage, I say women are smarter than us. Don't challenge them. And it's always some guy in the back. It's like, <laughs> oh, goofy son of a bitch. <laughs> He just showed you they think 27 moves ahead of us, bro. Yeah. We're never going to. We, we, we so dumb. We go, hey, you want to go out to eat? No, nah, I ain't hungry yet. <laughs> she means tonight. <laughs> yeah. Here's what I learned. Uh, uh, females love to eat. They eat everything. That's what I learned. It's especially when I'm buying. They buy, they eat everything. Did you know he bought food? <laughs> no. <Nah>. This whole time. <laughs> I didn't know it. I haven't heard it. one story of him buying food. Ah, Only on dates. They 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 eat a lot. That's what I I want to know where it all goes. I'm like, damn, that's this this is what I learned. But to answer his question, why do they do that? I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't know. I don't know. I they don't they know. stomach is a mystery. God damn it. Yeah, I got yeah. another one though. I got uh, another one from this one's coming in from Crystal. This one's coming in from Crystal. If you sleep with somebody too early, do you think that would make them not take you as seriously? As nope. Far as, no. Nope. Sounds no. fine. <laughs> Sounds fine. Nope. You first, and I'm gonna hit Joel, but go ahead. It doesn't change anything in a relationship. If the dude likes you, he wants to be with you, he's gonna be with you. It doesn't matter how quick you give it up. That just means we're on the same page. What you got? I'm fine with early. Go ahead. <laughs> no problem. Fuck me early. Yeah. Oh man, you gonna make me wait six Look, months? I'm fine with waiting too. I'm Word. fine with whatever's he's, natural between you and another person. He's, whatever feels right for that vibe. Some people you're gonna like feel romantic towards them your whole life and never, never sleep with them. Some people you're gonna sleep oh, with once, never event. talk to again. Some people you're gonna sleep with, fall in love with, be with forever. Some people you're gonna spend four months building a relationship before you ever get physical. It's different for every. You just live with. You live in the moment with the person that you're feeling it towards. You just live that. You live that. He said it. Whatever's natural. Whatever's natural. My thing is. Don't hold out and you now you fight in nature. <laughs> Don't do that. Look, sometimes Whatever's it's obvious, natural. Man. Let it happen. I read somewhere that it, was like, yo, if I hit you past 11 o'clock, you know what it is. Don't act like it's something else. 
Eleven thirty. <laughs> there you have it. You know, there, wow. there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. Eleven thirty. I don't know. I'm very, very. You, I, I, I know. I know. I know. You don't know. He, he got a hundred k. He don't know. You, you, you can hit me at twelve o'clock. One o'clock. <laughs> I don't think anything of it. Just don't send me naked pictures on my DMs because I won't look at them and I don't want you to post shit if I do. Right. Do you get a lot of DMs at 100K? I'm sorry. I, I know I cut you off. The fuck you think? I got to know. I don't know. I'm not at 100K. Depends on the day. Wow. Like today, today's the Lord's Day, so it's probably not. And tomorrow's the Lord's Day Jesus as well. And, and tomorrow's the Lord's Day as well. <laughs> The next day is the Lord's Day. What part of he's married are you not getting, bro? <laughs> like, what are you trying to get? His, you want asking. him to have to surrender his phone upon entry in the crib? I just, <laughs> I just got to know what the vibe is. I my man's. I just got to know what the vibe is. I just got to know. I DM people about, like, plants. That's a nice plant. Thank you. I grew it. Meanwhile, they snake plant right there. They bugging out on the other side of the phone. This motherfucker just hit me with a plant. Like, yo, you know they freaking out. (laughs) Joe, man, thank you for coming down. This was dope, man. Sure, Willie. My man, I appreciate you. Quo. Yo, oh, real quick. Dirty Diana has the EP out barcode. Make sure y'all go check that out. My girl, Dirty Diana. Barcode, check that out. Shout out man. to Dirty Diana again. She's yes. out here killing the game. We had her on a couple episodes back. T- tune into that if you haven't already. But Dirty Diana, you out here killing it. Big ups to you. Check that yeah, out. She, Barcode. She dropped her joint. She dropped her joint the same day DMX came mm. as DMX's joint because you know they had that. They they was vibing Worked out. On it, yeah. Boom. Together. So they dropped it same time. That's dope. Shout out to Dirty Diana, man. Shout out, but also yeah. Joe, let people know what you got coming up. I can't. Good. Hey, Ooh, no, that's a flex. No, that's a flex. Working. That's a flex. Yes. I can't even say that. That's a flex. I hold up. Ready. Hold up. I won't repeat it. Is it the thing that we talked about? I, I All I can say is I got to go to Australia for a bit. But I can't Kangaroo. say what it is. I can't say who's involved. Big money. I can't that's say the if there's any Bro, they pay involved. you to travel. Wow. Big money involved. Australia is on. I can tell you the world. pandemic's hard. I'm real thankful that I got some work. There you go. That's what's up. It's been slow, and I'm real thankful to have some work, and it looks like a nice group of people to work with. And that, honestly, besides the money and all that, that's what really matters, man. Joe, also let people know where they can find you at. Yeah, I'm on Instagram, uh, one old dog, O N E O L D O G. On Instagram, <laughs> you find me on Twitter. You find me on wherever I'm around. He's in these streets. You know, I, 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 I went back on Tracy's show for episode maybe two this year. I went on for season four. We'll come out next year. Uh huh. Um, I did some other show. Wonder what that was. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> well, he's World Podcast, man. Thanks for tuning in. Mail Performing Arts Center, Friday, June 11th. You know where it's at. Dougie on a beat.